Hi, good morning. So uh, today we will concentrate on a uh, few things. So those all are like, so let me, so those all are like different topics. So like advanced rules, as of now, what we did, we have used a single data. Like if I want to now uh, display 100 names in uh, my application. So how we can manage that? So that we have to do here, like using different components we can manage here. So first one, which is here, list view. Next is the grid view. So spinner, this is the drop down. So drop down menu. Next is the auto complete. So with this four, and after this, some more advanced that is the recycler view. So these five components, about these five components, we used to discuss. But recycler view is the completely the advanced. So before that, whatever this first is there, right? So that we have to discuss here. This how the skill be manageable, how what are the steps will be involved in that that we will see here now. So for that here now, what we are doing here now. So first of all, uh, if you want to do these kind of activities, here we need data in the form of arrays. So that array. So how, what is an array? Array is the group of similar items so that we can manage uh, our application, like we can create uh, different arrays. So like here we will create a array in Kotlin. So where like array name. So something array name is like uh, uh, x y z is my array name equal to array of. So array of here we will define within this we will write the items. So uh, d d d like this we will write with separation of the comma. So in case if I want a string array, this is a string array. Uh, if I want integer array, so directly can give integer. If you want uh, like float array, you can give inside the float values. So here there is no specifically you know to give whatever we have that you can do automatically. It will, it will itself it can define that what is that array that is. So that is next here. So how we will write here with simple, like as of now, what we did, once the component has came, directly we applied the listener, we will do the next step. But here we have to do before the listener, we have to map the data from whatever the array is there, that array we have to map the data. So for the first four components, very simple, like we will write the simple using array adapter. So using array adapter, like as this is a one, and predefined, so that is using array adapter. So array adapter, here first one is the context. First position, which is context. Second one, it is the layout, layout source. Next is the data source. So this four, like after that, so this we will map with the, this, like that is a list in case of list, list to that adapter. So we need to set adapter equal to whatever we are defining here, that is array adapter then this. So this is the syntax. But here in this syntax, we supposed to understand those words. So what are those and above it is defined, right? So first one, which is context. So the context means we already know that about the context. So what is the context? So context means which prefer superclass like that we can define in different ways, right? So that we know that how we need to do that, uh, how, what it is, we know. Right, next is the source. So that is a layout source. What is layout source? Layout source here, uh, two types. So the layout source is here, two types. One is the predefined, 
one is the free defined and next is the custom so free defined means we cannot do anything like how it is that same similar we can use custom means we can do some customization and that next is the data source so the data source can be here like uh, different that is uh, uh, same like uh, we, we already know that from the Kotlin we can create one so R from our RES so from the RES resources next is from the uh, database like that is through API so like this different kinds of so currently we will do Kotlin and RES when we we'll discuss about the web services that time we will discuss about data from the data sources so this is about this uh, uh these are the things about the data sources and uh, this about this right now this we will implement in a programmatically here so there are uh, again first list of you we will discuss with combination of four different types and after that remaining other i'll tell you with one combination remaining combinations you can try yourself right so for this first here now so within this layout so we will add that before that here we will add the data binding and we'll so here I'm adding the data binding. The data binding. So that is enable equal to true. So where is the data binding? Right. Now here. Here we will add the list view here. So this constraint layout, we will change and also we'll add the data binding here. So this constraint layout, I'm changing to linear. And here, I'm adding that. Then here, I'll add orientation this is orientation is required for this right so that i'm adding here android orientation equal to so something vertical right so i added the word. now here we supposed to add a list view so here we will add the list view so that list view can be see here like the multiple things of the list view here so that list view we can add here. So list view. So list view has also have height and width, right? So that we can paste here height and width. Then we will add the ID for the list view, ID equal to so at, at the rate plus ID. So here, list. That. So like this, we added the list. So now, what is the next step? So now from here, we have to add Var binding column. So our name of uh, this right activity main binding. So that I'm enable this. Next binding equal to data. So data binding it is 
the data binding util dot set container. So here I write the, this right. So till this is whatever we are doing previously now. Here I'm defining one array. So where so that is a array name I'm giving as a course. So equal to array of so with this now I want to add something like here and write Java or Java advanced Java with advanced Java. So like next PHP Python like this, I have added few tables. So this is the array declaration, right? So once this array declaration has done here, now uh, we supposed to write the next step before applying the listener, we have to write the next step. So here where, so that is here now where adapt where course adapter. So this is, we are creating the course, right? So that's the reason I'm writing the course. This is a user defined course adapter. Next year, using array adapter. This is the predefined adapter. That is whatever I'm using array adapter. Now that is the predefined. So with the predefined, I have to do this predefined array adapter. I have here now, what should I write here? So, First one is the context, right? So context means this at the rate. So main activity, this at the rate main activity comma. So second one is data source. So first of all, I'm using the predefined that is Android dot R dot so layout. That is a simple list. It is a predefined, it will come just a minute. So I'm adding here the last, which is course, right? Then here now we used to map this. So that is binding dot list dot. So that we have to map set adapter, set and get a here common, right? So that's the reason set adapter equal to so whatever we define here adapter so this adapter we used to write here this. right so it is done so but what is this now so here it is the predefined layout predefined layout and uh, data from Right, this is the first problem. So in this, we will see the other combinations. Let uh, once this is loaded, we will uh, see almost this done. But after the last week, I means this week only. This week, I just I updated my OS. After updating my OS, it is taking too much of time. Right, so this is done. So now we supposed to import these things, then it will go with next step. So importing this, import activity main binding, so data binding it. Right, 
then we used to import this array adapter also. Right, so this is now here. Uh, that is a dot. So there is a drop down simple list. Simple list item one. So this is the one we are using the pre defined. Right. Now, let me run this. So here, while running here, uh, what I'll do is just I'll copy paste here. So I'll comment this. Means while running, that will execute. So here now, what we will do is uh, with three defined layout data from RES. So that we will see here resource. So for this now, what we will do is in our RES. So right here in RES layer. So what is in the values strings. So in a string start XML here, we need to create a one array. So that is a string array. So I'm creating the string array. Array name I'll give as a cities something different array. So within this, we supposed to add items. So that is the item. So Hyderabad, like this, we use to add multiple items. So, Bill E. Then I write like this. Let it be so few items we added here, right? So, this is the array it is created now what we have to do here is now that array we supposed to change in place in place of this we supposed to change that array so for that here now what i'm doing here pass var xyz i'm defining one xyz array equal to so that is a get resources dot so i want to get that data so that is a get resources dot means here resources dot so from there, we have to get. So what we have to get, get string array. I want to get the string array. So that is r dot array dot. So cities, whatever the array we are getting, the, that array which comes here, right? Now here, we used to change here. Instead of that, I'm changing this is an x, y, z. Right, so this is the second combination. So let once this is done, we will see and the uh, next combination like custom. If you want a uh, custom, how we do custom, that we will see here next. So let This is the first list we displayed, right? So now this is second, second one. Now we will run and we will see the second one. So I'm running this. Now we will see this uh, that output.
not resource compiler it is what is that resource compilation Resource start it is correct only on application. Not extract resource from the Android or compile. And then start exiting some moment. Finger in or yes, what link? If we define that is correct, I did show you that. Whatever we define that is correct only executed to to read field. First Java land legal data etc cannot uh, extract resource from the compiler class it's not
but regularly I'm using that syntax and what is I should do. Okay, if it is one from just the uh, I'll check I'd update what is actually here, but as of now regularly I'm using this index only. Okay, no problem. So just uh, I'll check this now. Meanwhile, uh, we'll see the next other combination. So this is like so let us say for example, now I want to use instead of the predefined, I want custom layout. So what we will do with custom layout? So using this so here, we cannot uh, go for more. So like here, uh, just in order to uh, define whatever the minimum that we have to do like that. So like means, custom means only this XML with only the text combination we can modify. Like whatever we are defining here, text it is displaying the black, right? Instead of black, I uh, whatever the text to custom files you can add, you can add it. So for that here now in a layout, so I'm creating one new layout resource file. So that resource file I'm giving as a custom, right? So this source file, it contains only the text view. So this contains only the text view. So I'm changing this to text view. It contains only text view. So with this the text view, here we will write all text view properties like height, width is the wrap content, and then text color, text size. So text, so text is not required. So text, text style, italic, text color, the text all caps. So True. Next, text the color. If something we will give next text size. So don't DSP. So some margin. So ten dp. Adding ten dp like this. Right now, this we added here. Right now, what we will do here is instead of this, here what I'm doing here is now. R dot 
layout dot means this will call directly our uh, resources right so this is the cost that so this is a uh, right like this and now i'm running this we will see what this out and let us say here when more items will come so how that so there uh here Yeah, we already commented that why it is coming. I think this is not that issue. Let us clean the project. So if kind this kind of issues will come here, there is a uh, one that is clean project. Once clean project, and let us try. No, let's remove this and we'll try after adding that only we got an issue right we'll see now So it is launched now. So previously the text was minimum. Now it is whatever the color combination they given, it came like that, right? So this is the combination. Like here we will change the color something. Right. Now that color will come. And instead of italic, we will change as a bold. And here we will increase the items. So after this, I want to add a few more items like the comma. So here I want to add one more for Java. Here I want to add one more advanced Java. So let us repeat this once again. So like this, I repeat it two times. See, now what happens, we will see here. So now whenever this count has increased these many items so is this required any scroll view or it can be auto scroll view? that we will see here now Automatically, the scroll view has came for this, right? So this is like, for example, let us say I want to give the listener for this. So where can I give the listener? So here now we supposed to give the listener. So that is a binding dot list dot. So set on item click listen. Here we will define the listener as a on item click listener so this is the one different based on which item you are clicking on that so that item listener will be so that is a toast dot make text so this then here i want to give the position which position we are clicking that position will be then toast dot length long so dot right 
Now, I'm running this. Right, so now I'm clicking here. So zero, array index start with zero, right? So zero, one. So like this, it will work the list of things. So this is about list view, it is clear. But let us see here now why this is not working. I think yes, let us create the once again this here now. String array. X, Y, Z. So it's closed like this. So now here add one item X, Y, Z, A, B, C. Let us run this. If it is run, there is no issue. We can add more items. If it is not run, we will see here what is the issue. And now it is running. Launching. Now it is running. <laughs> we not done anything without that it is running. Yeah. Just let me comment this. Then we will they comment these two lines. We will see here now. It's supposed to work. It's quite right. If that for one item will come, then we will add more items later and we will see that now. One item, right? Like this, we can add here multiple items. So this is about uh, list view with the different combinations, right? So if you have any questions on this list view with different combinations, so then in our next class. Uh, we will see grid view, spinner, and drop down. With one combination, we will go with that one by one. So next, after that, uh, we will concentrate on recycle view. So tomorrow, we will see these three. And if your time allows, we will uh, create a basic uh, view on the recycle view. Then we will start the next level, that is. Right, so uh, for your information, currently uh, list view and grid view, we are not using 90%, we are not using those. Only the recycler view we are using, but the drop down spinner and autocomplete we will use. But then why we are discussing about this means the what is the recycler view which is there, that is the advanced view for the list and the grid. If you know this basic, then only that you can understand. That's the reason we are discussing about the basic. So in the basic, like whatever we seen, like similar, we can practice. So that next we will see that next combination. Hope it is clear. Are you have any questions? Okay, we'll see tomorrow that next component.